So basically what happened to me is that when I was in Form 3 back in 2005, I think I was 17 years or 17 actually. So I was working in Tao and then I was crossing the road and then this Matatu came. So I want to tell you a story. So yesterday I met up with somebody who asked me why I have a scar on the on my neck and it's a question that I've been asked by so many of you out here looking at the pictures. So now um, this so I was walking in town and then this matatu comes and hits me. So it hits me, Apple Railways, it hits me, I go under it and it's still moving. And I'm li literally trapped underneath the matatu. Yeah, it was fucked up. So anyway, so I'm underneath this matatu, it's still moving. My left, the left part of my face, all of it got scraped off by the, by the road, the lami, all of it. I was white up until my neck, all of this was gone. My and so, um, my, yeah, so my skin is gone. I'm 17 years old. My dreams of becoming a news anchor completely died or a journalist or whatever because I was like, they would never allow, agree to have me on air with a scar. It kills my dreams a hundred. Yeah, so for a long time, I used to walk in Tao and I would have like the whole Kitamba thing, like a scarf on my, on, to cover my face. Almost for like, almost for four months. And then after four months, I started becoming a bit confident. So yeah, so I stayed in hospital for about two months because I had to go through seven surgeries. I was so broken. So apart from the face being scraped off, half of my face being scraped off, I lost, I broke four ribs, my jaw got broken. So also my lungs kind of like deflated, not high. <laughs> my, my, my lungs got like completely collapsed. I mean, I was in a very bad state though, you guys, but Sorry for the long message, but anyway, those ones who will watch, continue watching. So anyway, so after four months, um, my, I, what I noticed when I was in high school that time, so one day I'm in the bathroom in the morning showering, and then I discovered, because all this was white, all this was white. Yeah, so for a long time I used to walk in Tao, and I would have like the whole Kitamba thing, like a scarf on my, on, to cover my face, almost for like, almost for four months, and then after four months I started becoming a bit confident, because everybody would look at me and you know feel so sorry for me and it's one of the things I really hated you know people would look at me and wonder oh yeah I used to hate it you know so I was like you know what I'm gonna I've come from so far I almost lost my life in you know underneath a matatu at railways in Tao what am I hiding this is this is not a scar it's a jewel because it shows just where I've come from then I discovered this I saw I'm, I'm washing my face and then here I discovered like a dark brown thing then I tried to scrap it off I saw it wasn't coming out it was such a celebration because it's like oh my goodness my skin is coming back so yeah so slowly by slowly my skin started going back it was such a it was such a big moment for me because I was like oh my goodness I was going to miss out on my career because who's going to employ you with a whole scar going up to your face? Uku kwate, you've been scraped. Yeah, so slowly by slowly, my skin grew back, and um, after a year, all of it, all of this had grow, had come back or grown. Yeah, but the problem is because the scar on my neck was so deep, it never got to heal a hundred percent. That's why I still have it. And so for a long time, even after I went on air. I kept wearing like high collared uh, shirts so that it could hide the, the scar because I was so insecure about it until one time I was like you know what F this S and so after that day um, that time that I made that reflection I'm telling you I never hide my scar I wear it like it's a jewel I wear it like it's a, you know a necklace full of diamonds and I love it because it shows because it shows me and it reminds me where I've come from, which is so far. And so that's the story behind my scar. All right? All right? And I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah.